Affinity Photo Video Tutorials 100 Ruffle. In this tutorial, I'm just going to show you the equations filter. And in particular, I'm going to be using it with channels. Now, if you can't see the channels, just go to View and Studio and Channels. And to actually use it, you can just click there. So you go into the red, green, or blue. Of course, you might be different depending on the color mode you're using. And if you want to go back, right, straight back, just do that. Just click there. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the red. And actually, before I start, what I want to do is go to a layer and duplicate. Because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use blending modes as well. You can actually use this on layers as well. So actually, it's quite nice because you can near enough make it like a live filter without actually being a live filter. And actually just duplicate it and then combine them in different ways. So I'm just going to, for that one, just go to composite red. And I'm going to go to filters and distort equations and I'm going to just select a random selection of things. So I'm going to go for minus 400 and wrap. So you can just see that wrapped around there, just moved it and apply. Go to green and go to filters, distort equations and I'm going to go for minus 600. I don't know what the document size is. I could go for the half of the document, I'm not certain what the size is. So wrap apply and, and then composite blue and go to filters and distortion equations again and I'm going to go for minus 40 and maybe times 2 just do a few just a variation and wrap so on so on click apply now to actually see that just going to go up there so you can actually see that the different colour effect you can actually create, that's for all of the RGB, so you can see now quite an interesting colour effect, very quickly created there. But I'm just going to deselect that one, I'm just going to go back to this one, and I can do the same. So I'm just quickly going to go to Composite Red, and, and then Filters, and I'm going to go for Distort, Equations, and Minus 500, and again, Wrap. Apply, filters, distort equations, and does help to go on to the composite green. I want to go to the green one. Obviously, I want to do red, green, and blue. Filters, distort equations, and minus 400. Wrap, and maybe times five. So you can actually create that click apply and again go to blue and go to filters distort equations and I'm going to go for polar this time so I'm just going to say times five and again wrap apply okay so you've got all those they've all been added to that and I'm just going to go back to that one there so now I can bring this one back in again so I've got that of course you can't see the other one now because it's been lost but what you can do there, you can actually just go to darken and you can go through the different color modes. So you can obviously combine some work better than others. So I'm just going to go through there. Something like that. Okay, I hope you found this of interest. Thank you very much.